and welcome back to more Super Mario RPG. That's it. This is the melody I've been looking for. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Yeah, so I kind of botched the song last time, so... That's the correct melody for the second song. There's one more song, but it's gonna be a while to get it. And by a while, I mean, like, not that long, because the game isn't even that long. So we can buy more stuff from this little helpful guy over here. I think it's this one? Or no, it's the other one. Oh, it is this one. Tenor card holder, huh? Well, let it be. So, Mega Elixirs are really good. They heal a ton of health. That's overkill, because we don't even have that much HP. Uh, so I'm just gonna buy two Elixirs, just for the road. Because why not? Uh, when you have to say? Fuck coins. Uh, none of these are particularly worthwhile compared to what the guy in, uh, the Sea Town actually has to sell. So, let's go to, um, where are we going actually? Yeah, I don't know how to find Link in the game, <laughs> I discovered. So, we're going to the sea. Oh wow, we're jumping straight down into the, the darkness. Uh, what the, what do you want? Around here since people came around here. Been a while since people came around here. I can't read today. So, holy cow, this stuff is expensive. Oh, shoot. This stuff is really expensive. Uh, oh wait, I already own these, except for the Hurley Glove. Which is actually worse than the Chomp, if I'm not mistaken. The Sailor stuff is the only stuff that's actually, like, legitimately new. So I'm just gonna buy the, the dress for Peach, because I don't think she has anything equipped right now. So, yeah, okay, she does, but it's not that good. Slap glove. So she's basically, she has equipment that keeps her pretty much at the same level as everyone else, so that's good. Uh, yeah. You know what? What the heck? Uh, back off. Tell you something interesting. The ship sank into the briny sea because a giant squid attacked it. Some people went to survey it, but they never came back. So let's switch out Mallow because we haven't actually seen Peach in battle yet. And then switch out uh, Gino for Mallow. And just leave it at that for a little bit. Okay, what's back here? Save block. Okay, that's random. Might as well save whenever you can. This isn't the kind of game that where it's like, why shouldn't you say not save? What I'm trying to say. That's back. So this is the only way back here. So let's go this way. So this is a star. Uh, I just remember this. This is actually a popular speedrunning location because you actually can speedrun. If you do a speedrun, you want to actually Make sure you kill all those. Uh, and then you die, and then you rinse and repeat. <laughs> it's kind of a weird strat, uh, but since you keep levels after every death, it's actually advantageous to actually just die over and over again. Right in that spot. So we might as well level up HP since we're getting 3 there. Um, well, wait, actually no. Attack gets a pretty big bump there. Uh, I'm thinking attack, just because why not? Uh, unfortunately, I botched the strats, so there are still quite a few enemies left. And uh, you can even kill these guys in here. Like, the strat is just, yeah, generally just die, and thus, thus you basically can reuse the star. Okay, so the way the mechanics work here is if you touch these warp poles, you will go to the bottom of the sea, and vice versa. So, that's basically how this works. Uh, well... Wait, 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 back up. Is this area really that short? Like, seriously? <laughs> I thought there was more to the sea than that. Wait. There's a page from a travel log. Let's take a look at it. We've managed to trap the giant squid in the treasure cellar. The treasure will sink with the ship, but so it goes. Uh, what do we do? <laughs> what do we do? Oh, here we go. There's a page from the travel log. Let's look at it. The door to the cellar is locked with a password consisting of six letters. In order to proceed, you'll have to decipher the password using the six hints. I'm not sure if we need to do that, actually. 
I don't remember if it's fixed or if it's RNG, but the password is. Even if it's RNG, that just means we'll rotate through several different options, but still, I do remember one of the possible passwords. That'll make our lives easier, huh? So these weird Grim Reapers are not cool. Dry bones are like really hard to kill enemies in this game. I just remember that. Hey, it's good to see ya. Uh, hi. <laughs> How did you get here? Um, well, since we actually have enough items now, let's actually just shop. So, uh, sailor shirt, sailor cape, and sailor pants. No sailor Bowser. Sorry to break it to you. Uh, happy shirts. Nope. We don't want to be happy. We want to be sailors. I'll give you a hint. The password's got something to do to see. And if you don't get through all six of the obstacles, you can still try to deduce your way through. Good luck. Uh, I just want to be cheap and see if I can do it on my own. <laughs> and without you looking at any of the hints. First. And then I'll go back and show everything anyway. I think that would be a good way to go. Whoa, okay. That's cool. I don't remember where timing is, but it didn't matter because she missed anyway. Mario's timing is like right as he's swinging the hammer, I think. Uh, 5 EXP, that's not as much as I would have liked under the circumstances, but okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna say, but yeah, I know I'm giving up a huge grinding spot, but oh well. See if I care. Two switches, and neither of them do anything. So, uh, Kila one. Uh, what the heck is this? Kila six, two is an E, three is oh shoot, <laughs> I messed that up. Three. Uh, R. Uh, let's see if this actually works. I did it again, didn't I? And then I did it yet again. Hooray for not paying attention. The job will let you through. That is, if you can get past me first. Wow, Pearls really is the password every time. That's the thing. Um. Yeah, so the password's Pearls. You can actually skip a large chunk of this area if you know that. Whoops! Uh, I might go back and show the other areas just because. Because, I don't know, I feel bad. <laughs> Skipping out a huge chunk of the game. And Peach is dead already. Uh, unlike Final Fantasy X, you can't switch party members mid-battle. So that's actually a major thing to keep in mind. Uh, you kind of want to keep everyone alive as long as possible. Because you don't actually get the option to even switch people out. And this is not going well. <laughs> um, I don't remember what the strat is even for this fight, to be honest. And if it was fire or something. Yeah, I remember the next fight, uh, but I don't remember this one. Which is pretty apparent, I'd say. Um, so do this, and... Okay, took out one of the tentacles. That's something. I'll have to check check stats. I think I'm under levels because I skipped like every enemy in this area. <laughs> okay, so backing up a skosh. I don't know what these two switches do actually. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's hint somewhere that says what they do, but I don't know where it is. So let's actually show the stuff now. Let's like actually show what to do. <laughs> Crystal, ow, ow, ow. You can't block that as far as I know. Peach has really low defense, by the way. So it's not surprising me that she's getting kind of destroyed right now. Um, therapy, group hug. Oh yeah, group hug. Okay, so using a Final Fantasy... No, not Final Fantasy. Tales of analogy. And get, most of the Tales games, you usually have an individual healer character who's like really strong, and like a group healer character who's less powerful, but uh, you know, heals more per individual. Heals a lot per an individual versus a little for the entire party. So this analogy applies to this game too, because it's like Mallow is good at healing individual characters. Peach is good at healing the entire party, so keep that in mind for your setups. 
There's certain battles where individual healing is sufficient, there are others where it's really not. So... I don't know what LG even does, by the way. Yeah, Peach is kind of getting wrecked, if you can tell. Um, so in that aspect, Mallow is the better character, because he's tankier. Not tanky, mind you, but tankier. For <laughs> I think this guy has tough uh, special defense, which makes sense. Ow. Um, so many skeletons. Oh, uh, man. Which reminds me, this is being recorded on the same day as the previous episode, so yeah, after that Undertale stream, I actually basically had Undertale, under, uh, one song from Undertale, like, I could hear him like sleep, practically. Uh, <laughs> just a little side digression. Uh, I am using a lot of FP here, actually. That's a little bit worrisome. I mean, we could just leave the area and go to an inn. I mean, it's not that hard. This guy's a lot tankier than I remember him being. Uh, it'd be kind of nice to use a uh, psychopath on him, but Mallow's not in our party. Which reminds me that after actually using Peach- Oh. Uh, we could get an instant level, if, I think, if we do this, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, hey, we guessed right. So we got like 70. No, 38. I was doubling the double, so yeah. Okay, so that wasn't quite a full level, but... This part sucks, just FYI. Um, basically, this block triggers a cannon. That is actually one time only. <laughs> uh, I did not remember that the one time only part of it. Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. Okay, so the way this works is you have to hit it into the block and then sequentially go down the line like that. Got a mushroom, and got a clue. Memory left by Van Dorian. At least two constants are side by side. We already know the password, I just want to show how you get the password, if that makes sense. Um, uh, like, for example, therapies. Oh yeah, therapy. Duh, that's actually the her solo heal. I forgot about that. Only one? <laughs> that seems like kind of uh, anticlimactic after the last fight. Um, yeah, look how much damage Peach takes in comparison to Mario. It's crazy. So yeah, we can use some more levels just because I skipped so much of the previous couple areas. And the sake, for the sake of time, it's actually coming back to bite me now. Because I'm just really underleveled. Oh yeah, those like, other guys do give you a lot of EXP, so that's one advantage. Crud. I messed it up. <laughs> you have to get all the coins quickly without collecting the leading coin. Uh, easier said than done with isometric platforming controls. And yes, uh, I'm not a fan of isometric stuff in games, uh, like Sonic 3D Blast. Uh, Sonic 3D Blast springs to mind. Uh, no, here's a g didn't I really bring this up before in another video? I'm trying to remember. But like, the Genesis version is apparently bad anyway, but Saturn version is not exactly a masterpiece either, so... Um, oh shoot, <laughs> at least I'm getting a lot of coins, so that's one nice thing about this. Uh, yeah, not a fan of Sonic 3D Blast on Genesis. I guess that's the version on Steam too, which baffles me that they'd released the worst version of the game. Uh, but part of me wants to rebuy the Mega Collection to LP it, but the problem is there are no save points. In the Mega Collection, it's a straight port of the Genesis versions, so I'd have to do the, all like Sonic One in one sitting, Sonic Two in one sitting, and I don't know if I would like to do that, <laughs> or that I'd just lose my mind trying to do that. Uh, the Gamma. Okay, why is Vasco the Gamma here? It has four consonants. We already know what the word is. But I just again, I just want to show everything. Okay, so we now have 306 coins, just if you're keeping track. Kind of a good thing to do, actually. Dry bones, I think you need, like, holy water, uh, to kill. Pure water. Okay, so we need pure water, so actually I have so many pure waters, I decided, let's just do this, what the heck. But actually, in hindsight, there are so many enemies here that this is gonna be kind of a chore. 
So special now. Uh, yeah, it's like this is I think one of the only areas where you encounter a lot of undead. So it's like why the heck not? I did the wrong thing and also missed the action command. Or timed hit technically. Just perfect. Done. Get a freebie. <laughs> okay, that was lucky. Uh, for once. Does do they walk on the reachers too? I don't actually remember if they. Okay, they count as undead. Um. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> yeah. I think everyone, all six hundred people. Who are watching it, and yes, I'm not making that number up, there's 600 people watching. Who are kind of like, I never want to hear Megalovania again. <laughs> After that stream. But there's gonna have to be a reprise, because they didn't finish the game, so... Again, if you want to know more about what I'm talking about, check the previous video if you haven't seen it already, because I talk in more details about it. And it was also a live stream that was in February, so this doesn't seem Apply. They'll probably be done with the game, hopefully, by the time this video goes up. <laughs> if not, then wow. Um, oh, yeah, we'll do the video after. We'll do the next stream after Magfest. Yeah, and before everyone gets sick after Magfest. That's my prediction. So I think it's gonna be a long time until the next stream. Not to complain, it's just, I mean, I understand. It's just, you know, the saying. Um, boom, boom. 69 damage, and he's down. Uh, this is tedious at this point, because of having, like, half my party down. I'm actually thinking about switching back to Mallow. I'm just not really not liking Peach right now. Uh, I thought she was tankier than this, but I'm thinking of something else. Uh, I'm thinking of, of a certain item that makes Peach a lot tankier, and you get that at the end of the game. <laughs> but I have this- I just remember her being a better character than she's panning out to be. 5 versus 3, so I guess I'll go HP for now. Um, level 10? I'll probably switch her out for someone- Wait, wait, 9? 9! Wow, okay. Definitely going with HP this time. Again, these are just bonuses because these are your actual stack gains and you just pick a bonus stat to go up. Uh, so again, HP. So HP all around. I did... That was not the best thing to do, but I don't care. Shoot. Well, I'm gonna run. Oh yeah, they leveled up, so they're actually pretty much back at full health. But I only have like two... Three pure waters. So I'm out of here. <laughs> um, shoot, shoot. I'm gonna kill the, the the guy in the back. Uh, the reacher just because he does so much damage. And yeah, you know, if I try to run and I can't, that's gonna suck. I think they're not attacking Mario since he's the like one with like 14 HP. I just had to say it, didn't I? Ow. <laughs> okay, that did not do nearly as much as I thought. Ow. So, yeah, I'm kind of... Not doing so well in this fight. I'm almost out of pure waters as well. Uh, can I run now? Okay, no. Shoot. Uh, dry bones. Get the heck out of here, it's not worth the coins. <laughs> if I keep dying. Pure water, this should take out him. And get the heck out of this place. Crystal, ah, uh, Mario's going again, he can't survive that. Or he'll just miss. Crystal on Gino? Really? Okay, I'll take it, but it's still a stupid strategy. <laughs> um. Yeah, ta Peach is generally re remembered as the tanky character, but she really isn't very tanky until you upgrade her. Uh, until you get a certain certain item that's like super OP, considered like completely broken. Um, well, this is a predicament. Because the problem is, even if I heal with her here, she'll probably lose like half her HP from the next attack. And he uses the insta-kill. <laughs> oh wait, that what not an insta-kill. Never mind. 
I thought that was an insta kill. Not sure where I got that from. I'll just slap him down, I guess. Oh, yeah, he has like a like 200 HP, by the way. If you're anyways keeping track. Um. Oh yeah, but again, even if I die here, the reason why I'm not really caring that much is even if you die, you keep all your levels. So yeah, like we died, but we are still at level 10. So next time, we will be tackling the top floor and then rematching the blooper. So thank you for watching.